We are going to impulse test a power transformer using an integrated impulse generator with a smart controller. We have a digital recording system for the waveforms and it's working through a laptop. Inside the impulse generator we have a power supply their resistors, front resistors, and uh, capacitor bank, high voltage divider, and a digitizer with shunt. We have to hook up the high voltage to the bushing, the return go connect to the shunt, and the ground wire connects it to the impulse generator base. We turn on the impulse generator on a smart controller. We set the impulse level 40 kV. It's a reduced wave, 50% coming first. Press the high voltage on, it charges up the capacitor bank and we impulse the test specimen. The reduced voltage and current waveform shows up on a digital recorder. This recorder has a 14-bit resolution and 100 mega sample per second speed. So it, it will read the reduced voltage and the reduced current. We will set up the system for 100% full wave, we press the high voltage on, it will show 40 kV will be the impulse and we could see the arc over uh, between the spheres. On the digital recorder we could see both waveforms, the voltage and the current wave, even the difference of the two current waves. This is the enlarged voltage waveforms. This is the current waveforms enlarged on top of each other the green and the yellow. The current difference will show the transformer is good or bad. We calculated from the transformer design single turn fork would increase the full current wave by 10 milliamp which is a blue line. The red line is a measured current difference integrated from 20 microsecond to 100 microsecond. It is less than 10 milliamp, the transformer will pass.